Okay, so I'm going to show you two different ways for making 3D slides. And the first one is a lot easier, so let's start with that. Make three new tracks. So we have one for the camera and then two for the clips. Uh, click on the top, top track, then hold shift and click on the bottom one to select them all. And then click on this button, make compositing child one time. If you don't have it, go to more edit visible button set and enable these. Then we're gonna highlight all of the tracks again, make the parent composite mode 3D and also the track composite mode. Like that, now everything's 3D. Then we're gonna move the first clip up here and then the second one so it's so it starts here at the halfway point because this is where we're, where we're gonna start the transition. Then we're gonna go to the track motion I mean parent motion and just zoom this out so you can see everything everything that's happening we're gonna move the the top clip so it's right above the bottom one so go to the track motion for this clip and then we're gonna move it up by 1080 because that's the height of our clip now it'll be perfectly above the above the first clip then we're going to delete the first keyframe so it doesn't animate the position. Then go back to parent motion. We're going to go to the marker and go one frame back. Just double click on this if you change the position or any anything else. So it resets everything. And delete these first keyframes. Then go two frames forward. And we're gonna set the position to minus 1080 so it's the same as the clip so now you can see that it moves like this and we can go in the middle between these two keyframes and make a new one so we have the middle point and then we're gonna move the keyframes here instead because it's easier just move them like this put it one frame before the marker and then make the first one a slow fade and the middle one a fast fade. And that's the first first slide. Now I'll show you a bit more complicated version. So we're just gonna delete everything and start over. And I'm gonna zoom this out so you can see the, the clips here. Then go to the position for the second clip and we can add some rotation to it like here six and then we're gonna move it further away by like 175 then we'll have to adjust the position and size of the clip later but let's make the movement now so basically the same thing just go two frames forward and yeah let's let's reset both of these keyframes then we're gonna move it up by 1080 again and we wanna change the rotation so it's the same as the clip like that and then we're gonna zoom it in by 350 we did 175 for the for the clip so we're zooming it in double the amount so we don't have to increase the size too much and you can see the background here but we'll fix that soon now make a keyframe in the middle and just move the keyframes like we did earlier like this and then add the fades so a fast fade and then a slow fade here And now we'll fix this. So open up the track motion again for the second clip. And we're gonna set the depth to 64. So we're increasing it by 10. And then it should almost be hidden. We can move it down a bit on the Y. Let's just do 1000 like this 
and then I'll also show you how to add more clips to this slide so let's duplicate this track and move this one the same way that we did earlier so it's at the halfway point between these markers and then we're gonna change the position a bit so we're moving the the y so it's double the amount and also at the c value so they don't have the same c position like both of these clips so let's set this to 350 and then we want to remove the rotation so set that to zero and then we also want to duplicate the camera we can almost reuse the same movement we'll just have to move the keyframes and then change the rotation a bit so just take these keyframes and move them like this and now you can see that it's rotated the same direction but we want to make it go go the other way so remove the minus in front of these like that and yeah now we're done so that's basically everything if this helped leave a like and also let me know if you want more 3d tutorials or tutorials for other effects but yeah, bye.